If the police are required to force entry into a property, then liability for that will kind of depend on what happened. If the police forced entry completely inappropriately and incorrectly, then the police are supposed to repair the damage, and they do have a fund to do that. In all cases, of course, the police are required at the time they do it to make the property secure. So they should leave an officer at the property to keep it secure, and they should call out their own emergency uh, uh, security people to actually re-secure the property. So what the police aren't allowed to do is bash the way into a property, arrest everyone in it, and wander off leaving the door wide open. If the tenants have been committing an offence such that the police broke the door down to, to carry out an arrest, and, and the classic example would be drugs or stolen goods or something along those lines, then the tenants are entirely liable uh, for, for, the, for what they've done because it's been caused by their misuse of the property. Um, so, as always with these things, it kind of depends on the situation involved. If it's the tenant's fault the door's got broken down, then the tenant's responsible to repair it. If the tenant's blameless in this matter, then it will probably need to come from the police or ultimately potentially an insurance company.